Hey guys, my name is Ihab Halat. Today's video is going to show you guys how to get a nice 2K high gloss finish just like this on your rims. Before we get started guys, let me tell you some of the advantages of spraying this 2K high gloss finish over your rims. Number one, it's soft to the touch and very easy to clean compared to a matte finish which dust likes to stick on. So with a gloss finish, uh, it's very easy to clean. Soap and water works very, very good and that's all you really need to clean it. Number two, it's gasoline resistant. So for any reason you get gasoline on your rims or if you have your full car done in a 2K high gloss finish, it, you could just wipe it away, it will do no harm to it. Number three, it will not fade or discolor over time. So in the sun, if your rims are in the sunlight for a very long time, they will not fade, they're not gonna change color at all, they will remain the same, and that is beautiful when it comes to 2K high gloss. Number four, it looks very similar to a paint or powder co coated finish. The only thing is you're not paying those prices. So this is the closest thing you could get to that. And I mean, it does look awesome, guys. You can't tell right now, but after this video, once you guys see the final process, it looks amazing. Number five, it's removable without harming the paint that's on the, the factory rim or your aftermarket rim. So if you do use this to protect the rim, um, you could always remove it and it will do no harm to the rim at all. And number six, guys, it protects your rim from anything out there, from rock, salt. If you live in, in, in a city that has harsh winter weathers, it'll protect it from that. You could you know, put it on for a year, take it off, and your rim will look completely new or like it did before you sprayed it. Here's what you'll need to complete the process. Soap and water mixed 50-50 in a spray bottle. IPL mixed 50-50. IPL is rubbing alcohol for those of you that don't know. Armor All Tire Shine and an applicator pad. Your black Plasti Dip or whatever removable coating spray you want to use. And your 2K High Gloss by Spray Max. I found that this one works the best. You guys could try another uh, 2K High Gloss. I don't know how it'll react, but this one reacts fine. And it is also removable. Take your time guys. Patience is key to get a nice finish and uh, to get a removable finish. So. Uh, I hope this video helps you guys trying to achieve a nice high gloss finish. Uh, so here we go. Let's get started. The first thing we did was mount the tires onto the rims. You won't have to do this obviously if your tires are mounted on rims already. But since these are brand new rims and brand new tires, this process was required for us. Make sure your center caps for the rims are removed so you can spray them separately. Set the wheels up, possibly at eye level, to make it easier to clean and spray. Now we never put any air in the tire, just so we can spray the outer lip of the rim and get good coverage. The first step is to clean each rim and center cap with soap and water mixed 50-50 in a spray bottle. Make sure to take your time cleaning all little crevices and inside lug holes because if any loose dirt, grease, wax or water is left on the surface, it will cause the liquid wrap to bubble and not lay down smooth. Once you finish cleaning all four rims with soap and water, I usually go over the rims again, this time with rubbing alcohol and water mixed 50-50 in a spray bottle. This will ensure that anything on the surface that's still left on there will be killed and removed. I highly recommend this because soap and water does not always clean the surface 100%. After your rims are all clean, the next step is to apply tire shine onto the tires. Take your applicator pad or your microfiber towel, squirt a bit of tire shine on it and apply it only to the sidewall of the tire. Make sure to be very cautious and not 
get it on the actual rim or it will cause the liquid wrap to bubble up and not sit down properly. Put a good amount of tire shine on the tires and make sure the whole side wall is shined up very good. This makes moving the liquid wrap off the tires 10 times easier and saves you lots of time instead of sitting there and taping the sidewall of the tires up. Now we can start heating up our spray cans in some warm water in a bucket. The reason I do this is because it makes the spray pattern come out even and much smoother. Do not spray a can that is cold, this will make the spray clutter and not spray good at all. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video and things you will need, but please please wear a paint mask respirator. This stuff is harsh and is definitely not good to breathe in, especially when we start spraying the 2K high gloss by spray mask. Now when the cans are heated up, you're going to take one out, you're going to shake it really well for about 2 minutes. Your first coat should be a light coat just to achieve a bit of coverage. You don't want to do overdo it guys. Wait 15 minutes between each coat or until it looks dry to the touch. The second coat should be a little bit heavier than the first, but do not overdo it guys. Do not go too heavy or you will start to see runs. I see people who are you know, overconfident in spraying this stuff and they go too heavy, they want to get coverage right away. Do not rush it guys. Like I said, time is key, patience is key. After your third or fourth coat, I roll the rims around just to make sure I get every spoke and get coverage on the whole rim. I do a total of 8 to 10 coats. That is recommended for durability and peelability. It is better for you in the long run, guys. The good thing is if you make a mistake, you can either peel it and redo it or fix it by dabbing a bit of thinner on your mistake. It all depends how bad it is. After every coat you spray, you do the sidewall of the tire as well. So make sure you spray the tire after you spray the rim. You will have to build coats on the sidewall in order to be able to peel it after the process is finished. After each coat, make sure you put your aerosol can in warm water to ensure it stays warm and it doesn't get cold. After you got 8 to 10 coats on your rims and they are completely dry, usually wait 1 hour before spraying the 2K high gloss. I use a small heater after my last coat of liquid wrap to ensure it all cures good. The 2K high gloss is a two part activator. You start off by heating the aerosol in warm water like we did with the black aerosols. After it's been heated up for about 5 minutes, take it out, shake it for 2 minutes, after that, you're going to take the red cap that comes with it, attach it to the bottom and push on it until it goes in. It may take some pressure, but what this does is it releases the hardener and the gloss together. And after that, you will have to shake the can again for another two minutes to make sure it's all mixed good together and then you're ready to spray. If you have air in your tires, you can still liquid wrap your rim. The only reason I didn't fill up air is because it's new tires going on new rims. So I thought I might as well fill them up with air after the liquid wrap. I usually stick cards in between the lip of the rim and the tire before I spray the 2K because it makes it a bit harder to peel off the side while of the tire after. When spraying the 2K high gloss, all that's required is one light tack coat, getting enough coverage to see gloss on the whole rim and then one solid nice heavy coat right after. Remove the cards between the tire and the rim right after your coat and lay the rim down flat. Try to keep a small heater on all four rims for about one hour and then leave the rims to cure which takes about 24 hours. Do not stop in one spot when spraying, keep your wrist moving.
after the rims have cured, you can start by peeling the sidewall of your tire by picking at it and it should all come off in one piece. Mine obviously didn't work out the best because I couldn't get the tire shine on the whole sidewall because some parts of the tire were pushed in. And on top of that, I sprayed the 2K high gloss on it. But within 30 minutes, I was able to clean up the sidewalls and remove all the dip on the tire. The good thing with this, guys, it is all removable. We decided to add a Mercedes-Benz logo on each center cap so it wasn't a simple black center cap. We made the decal in the same color as the Mercedes-Benz C300, which is vinyl wrapped. You can either apply the decal before the 2K gloss or after, depending if you are wanting to remove the decal in the future or not. You can remove any excess dip from the tires with a microfiber towel by just scrubbing at the sidewall of the tire if needed. This 2K high gloss shines nice, protects the rim from rocks, dirt, salt and any kind of road debris. You can peel it in the future if you want or simply spray another color. Bolt the wheels back onto the car and just like that you got a nice 2K high gloss black finish which is very durable with the right amount of coats and if maintained properly by washing them every one to two weeks depending on how dirty the roads are outside. You don't have to wash them every, every week or two but it just keeps the gloss looking fresh and shining bright. All you need to clean it is soap and water and only use foaming tire shine for the tires. Yes, you can pressure wash them or run them through the car wash. It will be fine. Remember, this gloss can be applied over anything like a grill, your emblems, your full car, etc. And it's 100% removable if you're using a removable coating as your base coat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out in achieving a nice high gloss finish over any color of your choice. Like this video if you love this 2K gloss finish. Comment down below on what you guys think. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. Peace.